Hey YouTube, this is uh, one of the best uh, bee plants I've found for myself in my garden. It grows super fast. It's called buckwheat. This is uh, buckwheat they plant out in the fields to get uh, the grain buckwheat. I don't know if it's a grain, but the buckwheat to make buckwheat flour. You can harvest the buckwheat from this once the bees are done using it. Um, I'm not sure how fast it grows, but I think it's like a 30 day bloom time. And then, I mean, it keeps blooming and setting seeds sporadically. So, I mean, that kind of makes uh, grain harvest a little tricky. But the bees love it. It grows super fast and keeps the weeds down. I know you can't really see back there. It uh, germinated uh, a lot later than what's up here blooming. Um, I can see my garden back there. But I got a lot of weeds. I don't really... Not big into weeding. Um, I've gotten a lot of plants by not weeding. Uh, pokeweed right here is one of them. This used to be my onion patch this year, and we had a lot of hot weather, and the onions didn't like it. So I had a lot of pokeweed starts, and I figured I'd let them go and uh, feed the birds. Uh, birds really love the pokeweed berries, um, especially woodpeckers. But uh, yeah, I believe this is a good pollinator plant. A pollinator, pollen source for. Uh, bees for protein um i have a lot of hue bam sweet clover which is an annual sweet clover that's only nectar um, bees need nectar to produce honey but protein for nutrition and i believe that some of the protein ends up in the honey um i should be moving here shortly um maybe uh i'll have two and a half acres this is about a quarter acre garden i'll have hopefully an acre and a half garden um Maybe I'll get my own hive. Maybe I'll feed the bees uh, that are wild. I think I might do that. I, I, me personally, I think feeding the wild bees and letting them survive on their own and just feeding them is uh, the best way to go with all the illnesses and funguses and I got to worry about. And just feed the bees that survive, and uh, hopefully the genetics will catch up and uh, make them a really tough bee. Um, thanks.